All right, this is chapter one, lesson seven, constant rate of change. So we're gonna go ahead and start at the top where it says a blank, blank, blank is a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another. In those three blanks, you're going to write rate of change. So a rate of change is a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another. In a blank blank, the rate of change between any two quantities is the same. In those two blanks, you're going to write linear relationship. So in a linear relationship, the rate of change between any two quantities is the same. A linear relationship has a blank, 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 blank. In those blanks, you're going to write constant rate of change. So a linear relationship has a constant rate of change. First strategy we can use is a table. The table shows the amount of money a booster club makes washing cars for a fundraiser. Use the information to find the constant rate of change in dollars per car. So I have my table right here. I want to find the unit rate to determine the constant rate of change. If you remember back from lesson one, unit rate is when I take two numbers, divide them, and get one in the bottom. I have to have one for a unit rate. So looking at this, I have five cars washed, they made $40. 10 cars washed made $80, 15, 120, and 20, 160. So I need to find the unit rate to determine the constant rate of change. So what we did was we took the change in money divided by the change in cars. So I took two numbers here and I subtracted them. 10 minus five gives me five. 80 minus 40 gives me 40. So that's my change. So $40 and five cars, which gives me $8. This is a 40 change and this is a 40 change each time. And this is five and this is five each time. So when I do that, $8 for one car, right? So the number of dollars earned increases by $8 for every car wash. So it's a proportional relationship because it has a constant rate of change. So those terms can actually be a little bit interchangeable. So you can have a constant rate of change, therefore the relationship is a proportional relationship. All right, the second strategy that you can use is a graph. So like we did with constant rate of change, like we did um, two lessons ago, you can also use a graph. The graph represents the number of t-shirts sold at a band concert. Use the graph to find the constant rate of change in numbers per hour. So to find the rate of change, I pick any two points on the line. I picked 8.25 and 10.35, okay? So once I, so here's my first point, here's my second point, all right? Doesn't matter which two points you can use, you can use any two points, but you have to pick two. So I subtract my change in the number of t-shirts that were sold, in this case, 35 and 25, and then my change in time, which was two hours. Okay, so 10 divided by two equals five. So five t-shirts, so that's five t-shirts per hour. So that's my constant rate of change. All right, there are two try it out problems below. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you're done, we'll go over the answers together. All right, now that you've had a chance to try out the try problems, let's go over the answers together. So the first one I'm going to look at is this one right here. The table shows the number of miles a plane traveled while in flight. Use the information to find the approximate constant rate of change in miles per minute. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pick two points. Doesn't matter which two points you choose in the graph or in the table, but you need to choose two points. So I'm going to choose this one and this one. Again, it doesn't have to be the same two points that I've chosen, but you need to pick two. So then I'm going to take, they told me miles per minute, so that tells me what order I want to put them in. So I need to find the change in miles, so 870 minus 290. 
over the change in minutes, 90 minus 30. 870 minus 290 gives me 580. And 90 minus 30 gives me 60. When I divide these to simplify them, they don't actually simplify completely. This gives me 58 over 6 because uh, I divided by 10. When I simplify this down, I get 9.6 repeating. So it's at approximately, so I'm going to round it to 10. So that's 10 minutes per mile. All right, looking at my second triad problem, the graph represents the distance traveled. Use the graph to find the constant rate of change in miles per time. So again, I want to pick two points on my line. So I'm going to choose this point and this point. You don't have to choose those two points, but those are the ones I'm going to choose. So that tells me, and they told me miles per time. So that's the order I want to put it in. So my change in miles is 80 minus 72 over my change in time. My change in time was 1 p.m. to 11 a.m. So that's really 13, because 1 p.m. if you're during military time, uh, 1 p.m. is 13. So 13 minus 11. Okay. 80 minus 72 gives me 8. And 13 minus 11 gives me 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this is 4 miles per time. So my constant rate is four miles per, per the amount of time, or per hour. Four miles per hour. And that is the end of chapter one, lesson seven.